Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. My name is Christina and this is episode 3, I guess, <laughs> of the Magpie City Build. And um, today we are expanding upwards uh, for a change. And um, this is a little uh, one hall cinema. I don't know what you actually call the rooms, uh, the individual rooms where they sh uh, show uh, a movie. Um, uh, in Danish we call them uh, sale. <laughs> I don't know what, what you actually call it in English. Um, anyway, it's uh, a one movie room cinema <laughs> movie theater place um, with yeah just, just one of uh, the big screens. So it kind of uh, reminds me of this local cinema we have where I live. Um, I don't I think they have two or three uh, rooms um, but it's uh, a bit uh, like it looks kind of homemade I guess because they don't have those um, um, those chairs that you can uh, like recline and um, with cup holders and stuff it's just regular couches and uh, and uh, lounge chairs and it's uh, it's both um, good and bad it's kind of cozy that it's uh, <laughs> that uh, homemade hipster vibe um, but also like those reclining chairs you get in a regular movie theater. <laughs> uh, what what kind do you prefer? Um, where in the in another city where I grew up, we just got a new movie theater, uh, which is a big uh, luxury version of a movie theater. So they have those um, classic reclining chairs, um, but <laughs> they don't just recline. They like lift up a footrest, and uh, you can adjust the. The neck and everything, it's uh, very fancy chairs and not only do they have cup holders on both sides, they also have um, a square hole in the armrest for your popcorn. <laughs> so it's a very dedicated uh, snack chairs and uh, they're very comfortable <laughs> and you can uh, definitely get, uh, get comfy during uh, a long movie. I just uh, saw uh, the new Avatar movie in the... In those chairs and uh, for that movie especially it was uh, it was good with very comfy chairs because I actually get a bit sore um, in regular chairs after not very long so I'm just like scooching around and I can't sit still because I'm trying to get comfortable but those new chairs they are really good and uh, I was very comfy during that whole three hour <laughs> movie so that was nice I'm sorry I'm just speaking of chairs I'm just adjusting mine um, I just rearranged my whole uh, computer desk setup so I just turned it like 90 degrees to the right and um, I'm still getting used to it because I used to have my setup facing the window so I could like look outside but I really wanted to have some wall behind it to maybe hang up some shelves or whatever anyway I am digressing <laughs> um, let me talk a bit about the, this uh, movie theater here so it is just like an expansion of this uh, little city I have uh, going on there is a little staircase up to the first floor, actually the second floor, because in Danish you don't count the, <laughs> the what's it called, the ground floor. Uh, we don't count that as the first one, um, so it's like ground floor and then first floor, so it's very confusing when mixing those two languages. So on the first floor we have the movie theater. And it was perfect for using this uh, big uh, neon sign. I, <laughs> I've been waiting to have an excuse to use that because it is like very specific uh, movie movie theater sign, right? That's at least the, what I got from it. Um, so yeah, you just uh, walk upstairs and in, uh, in the entrance there's a little uh, snack bar where an employee can sell you some sodas or... You can make popcorn. There's a popcorn machine and I think I placed it so you can actually use it because a lot of the time I just place items down because that's how I like the look of it. And um, excuse me, sometimes they just, um, they're not very functional. So yeah, but I think you should be able to make popcorn. Otherwise, just feel free to uh, move stuff around until it's, uh, it's exactly how you like it. And uh, yeah, I struggled a bit with the with the levels because I really like playing around with those. But sometimes the game, it's just, uh, yeah, it's glitchy and buggy. And <laughs> it doesn't always want to do what I want to do. Um, 
Do you have any struggles with the, the levels and adjusting those? Because sometimes it just glitches out for me. And um, in that gap between two levels, you can like see right through the the lot into nothingness. And <laughs> it looks really weird. Um, and I before making this build, I actually tried to make another one next to it. Instead of building up, I tried to make... Um, a basement kind of build. I'm not gonna reveal it because I think that comes in another episode. Um, but the, what I wanted was like I wanted <laughs> the the room itself to be between the um, basement level and the regular ground floor. But in The Sims, you're not allowed to do that because they want ground to be there. So I don't know if I have to like use the terrain tool or something like that to make the kind of basement that I want because it's not actually a basement it's just a lowered first floor if that makes sense that's what I want <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm very stubborn about that I really want it to work um yeah I'll just I'm just gonna say it. anyway <laughs> it's uh, I wanted to make a bar that's kind of like the one in how made your mother where you just there's a little staircase down um but it's not like a tall basement so they're like small windows that stick up so you're not all the way in if you know what I mean um, cause I wanted that cozy, uh, uh, the bit down in the ground vibe, but not completely, uh, submerged into the basement, uh, where it's very dark and there are no windows. So a mix of that is what I want, but yeah, the, the game is not really letting me do that. So I'm, I'll, I'll just keep experimenting. Um, but that will not be in the next episode because I already made that. <laughs> um, so that will come out very soon. Uh, right after I make the the voiceover for that, and I, I, I don't think I'm gonna wait very long to release it, um, so it will be ready soon, I think. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, decorating the whole thing with a lot of posters. I think most of them are from uh, Get Famous because that's like where you can get the uh, movie star career, right? That's what I remember it being. <laughs> Um, I actually don't play the game very much, so I just see the items most of the time and then I guess what they are for. <laughs> Maybe I'm completely off. But uh, yeah, I really like all those uh, movie theater posters. So yeah, a lot of those uh, all over the place. And I really try to have everything make sense. Um, like imagining that... A specific movie is showing, or maybe three different movies are showing on different days in this period. So those three posters, I try to like stick to them, and then hang hang them um, like inside and maybe outside by the stairs and on those big billboards because they have matching designs. So I try to uh, to make a bit of a system in that way. So yeah, it would it would look like it would in real life kind of um but yeah it's uh like the the rest of uh, this lot the vibe is very uh, neon -y and very uh laid back i feel like there's there's not very uh, many rules to it and um at first i wanted it to be this very over the top cyberpunk steampunk uh, build with just uh, crazy uh smokismos everywhere and i really like the, that style and uh, I love building in that because you can just do whatever and use all those cool neon lights and signs and stuff. And it looks amazing. Um, but I don't think this is completely that. It's just more of a, a city that's kind of chill. So it's not like... Because cyberpunk is kind of... Um, a, what's it called? Like sci-fi? It's very futuristic where this is more realistic, I guess. Like now... <laughs> And um, I've looked at a lot of pictures on Pinterest for inspiration. And uh, there's just tons of cool uh, cool pictures. I think there's a link for my Pinterest in the description. If you want to see um, what pictures I've saved for inspiration for this, I have a, 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 a pin board. Is that what it's called on Pinterest? Um, that's called Simspiration. Uh, and in that, I have other folders Um for different kinds of style I want to to build in. And then I have one called uh, Neon 
something neon vibes, something with neon. <laughs> and uh, it's filled with the uh, images from mostly um, Asia, I think, big uh, Asian cities with bunches of uh, neon signs everywhere. And it just looks so cool. And I wish you could place down um, puddles because I did, it just looks so cool in those pictures where there are puddles because it just rains and then it reflects all those lights and it just bounces everywhere. And I think it just looks so cool. And um, I have looked in the debug menu and I can't really find um, puddles uh, because I have seasons, so uh, and you can place other weird stuff down, like trash and stuff. So why not puddles? I don't know if that's a possibility. Let me know if uh, if that's uh, a thing you can do. Because then I want to place puddles everywhere, <laughs> even in the summer where it hasn't rained in days. Um, because actual rain is actually a problem uh, in this uh, particular build. Because many of those neon signs actually doesn't work in the rain, and then. Uh, they just like start glitching like they break because they get wet which kind of makes sense but also not because many of those signs are, like made to be outside on buildings and on billboards and uh, you would think that they could handle some rain but then some of them don't work and then they break in the rain and um, I, I don't know why <laughs> I guess some of them are indoor neon signs that's very specific I don't know why they didn't just let them work outside because it makes sense that you can place like a computer like a laptop or a cd player outside in the rain and then that a notification pops up like Electro electronics doesn't work in the rain but with the neon signs it's a bit annoying it was a problem with another in another build i made and uh yeah i just want it to work and have cool lights okay <laughs> that's all i want in my builds um yeah as you can see here, I just I made a little uh, display of the different kinds of soda you can uh, you can get in this uh, in this little bar uh, in the entrance of the movie theater, and also there are a bunch of vending machines, so you sim can actually buy some drinks and bring those into um, the movie theater. And I want to make this lot like as many different things as possible, so you can choose if you want the. Mm, what's it called the cafe to work or me i don't want to spoil what i'm gonna make so <laughs> i was almost gonna list up all the different things but i want to make like restaurants and uh, maybe a spa and all kinds of things you can just set it to be whatever you want and it should it should work because i i uh, i like to check off all those things where it's like you need this and this and this for it to be a functional spa you know what i mean so um, that's the goal. So let me know if there's something you would like to see in the, one of the next episodes. And uh, I might make that. Um, like I said, I already made the next episode because I actually forgot about this one. <laughs> and in my mind, I had already uploaded it and it was done. And then I started making uh, episode four. And then I realized, oh, wait, <laughs> I didn't finish episode three yet. So I already have number four ready. Uh, I actually made this one back in October, I think. So uh, it's been ready for a while. So here it is. You're welcome. And um, the next one will come very soon. And then there should be some uh, screenshot right after I'm done talking. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's something you want to see. The next one will feature some of the new uh, kits that were just released uh, not so long ago. With some clutter things and some pastel stuff. And um, they are kind of the main inspiration for that build. So it's something to do with kind of fitness, something with, to do with um, cool pastel designs. So stay tuned for that. I will have it uh, linked below along with all the other episodes in the description. And uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more. And uh, yeah, I think that is it. I hope you have a very very good rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!